best way kind of to demonstrate what process is, um, is to kind of give you some examples. So maybe I'll give three quick examples of a process art activity, um, and I'll keep all these ideas, um, I'll, I'll keep in mind that you're going to want to use items that you already have in your home. So um, I'll give you three three kind of quick ideas that that qualify as a process art activity. So one of the first ones that we do all the time that the children absolutely love um, is car track painting. So we'll cover a large surface uh, like your table or if you can get outside on your deck or sidewalk or something like that, we'll, we'll cover a large surface with paper and then all we will do is dip the car tires in some paint and then roll them down the paper. Um, sounds simple, but honestly, there's so much learning going on with that. You can incorporate ramps into it. You could crash the car together if that's what your child's interested in. Um, they'll watch the colors uh, mix as the as the paths uh, cross. They'll see the different tire tracks. So that's a great example of process art. It doesn't matter what the end result looks like, but the process is really fun and there's lots of learning going on with the process. Uh, another example would be um, some spray and squeeze art that we, we call it. So fill some old spray bottles or dish soap bottles with, with some watered down paint. Um, and then you can let your child go, go at it. They'll be working on their fine motor skills while they're doing this. So they can like squeeze, spray, you know, again, it doesn't matter what the end result looks like, but the process is really fun and they're working on their fine motor skills at the same time. A third example that we do all the time is paint resist tape, uh, paint resist, sorry, <laughs> tape resist painting. Uh, so use some painter's tape to uh, write their name or their initials um, on, a, on a piece of paper and then encourage them to just fill that whole page however they want, whether that's with using their hands to paint or using brushes or, or even the cars and or the spray bottles that I mentioned earlier. Um, and then, of course, you take the tape off to reveal the letters that you've written. You could do a page for for every letter of the alphabet and then it turns into a literacy activity. So again, they can fill the page however they want. So so the end result is is not the important thing, but instead the process of, of making that art was the fun part and that's where the learning happened.